Well, welcome to June PRS. In this edition of Hot Topics in Plastic Surgery, we're gonna look at three unique things and technologies that you may not even realize are now at the heart and forefront of plastic surgery today. Our first hot topic looks at migraines, which plastic surgeons now often treat, believe it or not. This study is the first of its kind and focuses on the effect of migraine surgery in the adolescent population. This group analyzed 14 patients using pre- and post-operative assessments of migraine frequency, duration, and severity. The authors found that the average frequency of headaches in a 30-day period after surgery was reduced from 25 to 5 duration from 42 minutes per day to 15, and patient reported severity index decreased by just under 50%. The team concluded that migraine sufferers under the age of 18 may benefit from plastic surgery intervention if traditional methods are not adequate. Did you know that plastic surgeons also treat sleep apnea? The authors in this second hot topic study looked at 26 non-obese patients with sleep apnea before and after surgery to repair their nasal inlets. They discovered that functional septal rhinoplasty procedures can significantly decrease nasal airway obstruction and thereby lessen the severity of sleep apnea in selected patients. The key take home message is that one of the first things you need to do in the management of sleep apnea and even the correction of sinus problems is you have to straighten the septum. A straight septum, a straight nose, will often help diminish sleep apnea and even sinusitis problems. That's the role of plastic surgery. You may also know that board-certified plastic surgeons work to help reconstruct traumatic injuries every day and work with the approximately 185,000 Americans who suffer the loss of a limb each year. However, it may surprise you to know that plastic surgeons ac across the country are now working on high-tech prosthetic solutions to help restore feeling and functionality to these amputees. This team of authors reviewed the latest improvements in sensory feedback, examined the anatomic structure of the peripheral nerve and its role in touch, and looked at advancements in targeted muscle re -innervation. They concluded that these technological breakthroughs may pave the gap between science fiction and reality to develop prosthetic limbs with the ability to feel. Now that's pretty cool. For more on the world's best research and best peer-reviewed articles, visit our website. Subscribe to PRS YouTube channel and also remember to use a board-certified plastic surgeon and the interactive tools on plasticsurgery.org. Have a great summer.